Perl tutorial part 29 covers directories. Opening a directory, reading a directory, closing a directory, changing directories, making a directory and deleting directories. Okay, so this is our work folder. This is the script we're making today. I've made two directories, directory 1 and directory 2. Inside directory 1 I've got four files, just the empty files with different names. And in directory 2 I've got nothing. So we're going to work with these directories today. First of all I'm going to show you how to open directory 1 and tell us what files are inside it. So we have to open our directory with the open dir function and then we create a directory handle the same way we created handles for files. So just create um, a small wor a word in capital letters dir short for directory something like that and then the directory we're going to open directory 1 so that's how we open a directory we're going to read the files inside that directory into an array called files so files equals the function reader and then our handle there and then finally we close our directory with our handle. So this will open our directory, directory 1, see what files are inside, put them into the array called files and close the directory and then we can print our files. So let's run this. Okay, and we get the four files that were in the directory. Okay, now I'd like to show you the change directory and the make a directory function. So we're going to come into directory 2 and create a new directory inside here. So to make our script change directories we simply use the change dirf function and we're going to go inside directory 2. Okay so we're going to take our script into directory 2 and now we're going to use the make directory function to make a new directory. So to make a new directory we type in so and we're going to make a new directory called new directory. Okay, we'll just open up our directory too. There's absolutely nothing in it. Now let's let's run this. Let's have a look inside our directory. Okay, we've got a new directory. Now I'd like to show you how we can delete this directory with the remove directory function. So the rmdir function, remove directory, and we're going to remove our new directory. Now directories can only be deleted or removed if they are empty so this one is empty and so just be aware of that so let's run this and remove our new directory okay let's run let's have a look inside our directory 2 our new directory is gone 
Okay, now I'd like to take our script back up to the previous directory. So currently our script is still inside directory 2. So we've used the change directory function before. Now to go up a directory we simply type in a dot dot here and that will change the directory, take it up one directory. So that's using the dot dot function and naming the directory you can come in and out, weave in and out of directories. Okay, so now I'd like to come back out of this directory and let's finish by printing the files in our main directory. So to open the current directory we simply put in a dot here and then read our current directory and then we'll print out the files. So we're going to come back up out of here and print, print these files. So let's run this. Okay, so that's the first bunch of files in directory 1 and then it's we've done our change directory, we've made a directory, we've removed it, we've come back up and now we're reading our current directory which has the directory directory 1 and directory 2 plus our Perl work script. So. So that's um, all about navigating directories and working with directories.